The fact is we're missing the point here. This is not about match-fixing. It's about sport betting fraud. Sport betting fraud funds match-fixing. Without sport betting fraud, there'd be no modern match-fixing. It'd only be about relegation and avoidance of relegation, etc. So today, governments need to get together, collectively do something global, and that is monitor, supervise and control sport betting. More supervised controls for betting. So, I mean, there's a proliferation of betting uh, around the game, of course. Um, what do you mean by more controls on betting? Well, the fact is the vast majority of betting today is in Southeast Asia. The three biggest companies are out of the Philippines and they transact billions of dollars per week on sport. Now, this is unregulated, undersupervised. It is not like the European uh, betting organisations where they are well controlled and managed. These things are like mavericks. They're out there really in the wild west of sport betting. Governments need to put pressure on Southeast Asian governments to control and regulate and supervise their sport betting better. So it sounds like a big problem, Chris. How big? Well, it's endemic in football today because organised crime is there now that sees this is an enormously uh, lucrative market for them. They're taking more money probably out of sport uh, uh, betting fraud than they are of some of the other products they sell around the world. This is a real organised crime cash windfall and governments should be concerned. I'm certainly concerned.